NFT gaming is 100% the future of the entire gaming industry. I don't know how many times I gotta tell you guys this before you believe it and you realize it's true. Today, I'm gonna actually show you some of the underlying tokens for my top six NFT gaming tokens that you guys can profit big on. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking all about NFT gaming tokens. So there's a lot of NFT games out there. I play them all the time on my streams, five days a week. And as much as the NFTs, it really are what excite me about a lot of these games and being able to play and earn in these games, there's also the other, other aspect of these games to be able to earn, which is the actual token that is used as a utility or governance or other kind of aspect within the game itself. And so holding these tokens, trading them, staking them can actually net you some really great long-term profits. I'm gonna break down my top six right now so you guys know which ones are the hottest up and coming coins that you should be looking at that run these NFT games. But before we get into all that, if you love gaming NFTs and earning money in crypto, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and smash that like button if you want to continue maximizing your gaming and NFT profits with me and the community of Stashers. Jump in our Discord, have some fun with it. Uh, link below in the description for that uh, Discord there. All right, so let's go and jump into this. These are my top six NFT gaming tokens. No particular order here. Uh, I'm not gonna put a favorite on any of these in per se, but these are all uh, you know products that I believe in. These are products and tokens that I hold myself. And I'm actually, uh, you know, I, I wanna share these with you because I think they're all really great projects and the tokens behind them are doing exceptionally well in the markets these days. So let's go look at the first one we have on deck here. So AXS is the underlying token for Axie Infinity. If you've not heard about Axie Infinity at this point, I'd be surprised. Uh, they are one of the top blockchain NFT games out there to play and earn. Over a million people playing this game and uh, you earn their in-game currency as well called SLP. So that's another way of earning it. AXS it works as the governance token on the platform. So it's a, a dual token system. And uh, the AXS token has uh, you know done incredibly well here over the last 90 days. Now, when you look at uh, what it's done in, in this particular sense, uh, it's down a little bit right now, but uh, in general, you can see the last 90 days going from about $41 uh, and, and giving about a 3X return uh, over the last uh, 90 days here. Uh, they've done some really great things as well in that period. They did a big airdrop to early adopters and they also instituted a new staking program so you can stake AXS and get some good returns. I love being able to stake my tokens and if they're gaming tokens, twice as good, right? So AXS is definitely at the top of my list when it comes to gaming tokens. Now, with a two token system, you gotta think, well, what about SLP? Well, SLP has uh, been a little bit on a downtrend. So, you know, picking that up and, and holding it, not maybe the best long-term solution at this point, but with uh, the staking program and other benefits for the governance of AXS, I think it's definitely a solid buy, even now uh, at this stage. I do think that there's still room for growth on AXS. Now, when we look at uh, another token that has been in my bag for a long time, uh, it's one that uh, I'm actually really excited about, and it's not a game that's necessarily playable yet, but the Sandbox or the Sand Token uh, is something that you know I I'm incredibly bullish on. I've been bullish since I became an ambassador for the Sandbox, and since I bought my very first land in their second land sale only, and I've been, you know, uh, excited and looking forward to this this metaverse. And so the sandbox is kind of like Roblox meets Minecraft, right? So kind of a little bit of a voxel style to it, which I think look the voxel style looks better than Minecraft by far, but has the 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 playability and the the you know game value that you get in Roblox, right? The game experience. So uh, you you can and you can come in and you can create your own games. And that's one of the great the greatest things about this is you can buy a piece of land, own land in this in this uh, metaverse and then create your own game, right? You can make your own thing. And, and there's people who are uh, you know, creating their own games, in particular, uh, you know, people like Snoop Dogg are gonna be making their own experience, Atari, Shaun the Sheep, The Walking Dead, Avenged Sevenfold, amongst many others, uh, including myself. I'm also building a, a crypto stash, secret agent stash game uh, in the sandbox as well. And that doesn't even count all of these really great independent creators out there that are doing the same. 
Now, the sand token itself uh, has a staking ability, and if you own lands in the sand, you actually get a multiplier for that staking, and so you can earn sand on your sand, and uh, the sand token actually has some pretty high utility with uh, being needed uh, all throughout their entire ecosystem, so when that game launches, uh, there are going to be a lot more use cases for sand than there are right now, but the staking alone uh, has netted me a really good profit. And I think there's a lot of room left with the sandbox. Now they've gone up a crazy amount here over the last 90 days. You can see they were trading about 63 cents here uh, about 90 days ago. And the token has skyrocketed here over just the last couple of days by almost 50%. So, you know, they've gone from, uh, you know, they, they, they've gone uh, from about, well, it was about 60 cents, right? And almost quadrupled since that time. Uh, so not, not, too, not too bad of a return there. Definitely bullish on sand. Uh, ne next up uh, in my list here, my top six is ILV. ILV is the underlying token for Illuvium. And Alluvium is an upcoming game that is kind of an open world RPG, uh, like a trainer style, very similar to Pokemon, where you go around and you collect these alluvials in, in shards, which you can mine from the, the, the planet you've crashed on. And you go and battle these alluvials against other players in a PvP style match, and you can win ILV tokens. Now, ILV has been uh, on, a, on a pretty big tear as well over the last 90 days. You can see it went from $200 over, uh, to over $1,000. That is some massive returns on this uh, program uh, for, the, for, you know, for this uh, uh, you know, particular uh, gaming here with, with this, that's you know, still in very early stages and it has not been released yet. So uh, a lot of room here. And the reason for that really, in my opinion, is their staking program. So with ILV, they have a really great staking program, and uh, you know one of the big benefits of holding ILV is that all in-game revenue, right? Any in-game revenue, a hundred percent of that is going back to stakers. So that's a pretty big thing. So we, when you talk about anticipation for this game, I mean, think about how much in-game transactions are going to be happening, and how much you're going to be getting as a staker in addition to uh, all the great benefits of just holding ILV in general. So a uh, pretty big token here. And you know, like I said, out of all the, the gaming tokens on this list, this uh, token has had probably some of the biggest returns over the last 90 days. And I don't see any signs of this stopping. If you look at what it's done here in 180 days, it went from $40 all the way up. And, and this is for, you know, $40 only in, uh, in June. So in the last uh, you know, couple of months, six months, it has just completely skyrocketed. And I think that it's not done yet. Now, they just dropped a brand new trailer that is fire, and if you guys want to go see my reaction to this trailer, go check out my brand new YouTube channel that I started called Alluvium Training Camp, and we're going to be talking about all the hot news for Alluvium on that channel specifically. It's going to be dedicated to Alluvium, so make sure you guys go check out that uh, trailer uh, reaction video that I'm going to have. I'm going to go totally in depth with this new trailer and talk about all the aspects of it, so go uh, t take a look in the description here and uh, find that new channel. I'm going to be there talking about Alluvium all the time. And uh, make sure you jump in their Discord, too, if you want to get uh, more familiar with the game. All right, so moving on to the list here, uh, my next pick here is Gala Token. Now, Gala Token is the uh, ecosystem token for Gala Games. And it has uh, been on a pretty big uh, uh, tear it's, it's for itself as well. So you can see it was trading just around uh, you know one cent here in August and has gone up to uh, as far as uh, uh, 12 cents here as in a high. It's looking at about a little bit less than uh, around, it was around nine cents at this point. So some pretty good returns here as well. Uh, you're looking at four or five X on this and I think there's a ton of room for Gala to grow. Uh, out of all the tokens, I think it still has not had its really big run. And there's a lot going on here. So when it comes to Gala, what you can do with it, uh, they have master, they, they essentially like a, a node program where you can buy a node, you can earn Gala in that particular way. And so that gives a pretty high value for staking when it comes to being able to stake your Gala on this node, which is great. And uh, they're almost sold out too. And these nodes are giving pretty good daily returns back uh, on your investment. So uh, they are a little bit pricey at this point and they keep going and kind of going up as they sell out more. But uh, a staking node with Gala is incredibly uh, uh, profitable at this point. Now, uh, you also need this token to be able to buy things like their in-game items for all the different games that they're developing. Gala is not just one game, but it is an ecosystem or, or, or a studio that is putting out multiple games. And so they already have Townstar out right now. Uh, it's looking like their next uh, the title that they're developing that's going to drop is going to be Spider Tanks. You guys have seen me play that on the stream. Love that game. Got to have Gala tokens to be able to buy the different parts and NFTs uh, for those ecosystems. So 
a lot of utility there for Gala, and I don't think that Gala is done just yet. So definitely look at picking up uh, some Gala there. Now, uh, moving on to some of my other favorites, uh, another big one that I've been very bullish on is Splinterlands. Splinterlands SPS token has been uh, hugely profitable for me in particular, and uh, coming from one of my favorite games, uh, Splinterlands is an auto battler style card game where all the strategy comes down in picking your lineup and being able to do it quickly and adapt to different rules. And in this game, you can actually earn in a lot of different ways. Very similar to Axie, they're a two token system and uh, you, you're earning uh, you know, uh, DEC as well as, as uh, NFTs when you're playing this game and you earn them in multiple different ways, not just for earning matches, but for uh, you know, the season rewards and, and quite a few other ones. Now they've also done an airdrop here recently, which they're gonna be doing for the next several months. Uh, people who hold their, their, their uh, you know, the NFTs or their land or whatever it may be. And there's a lot of things coming for Splinterlands in general. Land gameplay is definitely on the horizon as well, very similar to Axie. And uh, the fact that they're very cross chain, uh, you know, SPS being a Binance Smart Chain based token, but the game being on Hive and being connected to a bunch of other blockchains like Wax as well. So, uh, and of course, you can also actually stake your SPS too, which is another big part of their whole governance scheme. Uh, you get profits back from the staking, but uh, it also allows you to unlock things like vouchers to be able to buy their brand new card packs. So a lot of utility going on for SPS. And over the last 90 days, I mean, this token has gone from, you know, 20 something cents uh, to a high of uh, 90, 90, almost 90 cents here. It looks like about 90 cents. Uh, now, we have had a, a quite a bit of a down leg here, but we're starting to see it tick back up here uh, back in the 60 cent range. So I think there's a huge future for SPS, a very uh, new token out of all this list is one of the newer tokens on this list. And I think that there is a lot more room for growth for SPS as well. Now, the, the last token on my list is called Benzene or BZN. This is a cryptocurrency of a game called War Riders. And War Riders is kind of like a like Twisted Metal style game almost, but meets Mad Max Wasteland Warrior style, uh, if you can picture that. I play this game quite a bit on my stream. So if you guys watch my Thursday stream, uh, Secret Agent Stash Show, playing uh you know war riders here every once in a while but uh bzn is essentially a crypto in-game cryptocurrency that you go around with your uh wasteland truck or suv or war van and you mine these different points and you're literally looking for spawn mining spawns uh that uh that you can you know earn this crypto from for just going around playing and the competition has gotten fierce you're out there you know uh, armed to the teeth with your guns and your rockets and you have groups out there roving around and uh you know and, and uh, camping these spots and 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 destroying each other and having battles back and forth so it's been a lot of fun and the uh the, the price action on bzn has been crazy so if you look here it just in uh 90 days ago price was about uh what 45 50 cents or something like that and has skyrocketed here to a high of, of over $30. So when you talk about massive profits, this has beat out every single token on this list. Now you do see it, it has had about a 31% decline here and a little bit of decline here over the last uh, week or so, but I think this token has a lot of room for growth as well and uh, is definitely a, a big hold in my opinion. There's a lot more coming to, uh, to War Riders as a game. Uh, they're going to be launching on, on Immutable X as well here pretty soon. And you can go pick up their NFTs actively here on, on Ethereum on OpenSea uh, right now. But definitely something to get into and a lot of fun playing this game. So hopefully you guys like my breakdown of my top six gaming NFT tokens out there that you should be looking at. All of them have some sort of staking and high utility baked right in, which makes them perfect long-term holders and, uh, and even better if you play the games. So let me know what your guys' favorite was. If you have a favorite out of these six, I want to know in the comments below. Let me know why you love it and why you think it's going to be huge. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.